This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Create a new composition. I will name it as title, time duration for this composition will be 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add, all the text first. Here for the text, I am using objective font family, I will be using font style to black. Here I will increase the font size. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this text layer. Here you can create duplicate, or directly add new text layer, place it below. Change the text. Now again I will create another duplicate. Place it below. Change the text. Change font style to, medium. Reduce the font size to match the above text. Perfect. Now make sure you have not selected any layer, now select the rectangle tool. Create shape as shown over the third text layer. Here you need to make sure fill option is set to solid color. And stroke option is set to none. Here you can change the color of this solid shape layer. Place it below the text layer. Perfect. For text, we need to change the text color. You can change it here, or you can add the fill effect, and set the color of your choice. Perfect. Now let's animate the text layer one by one, for below text layer. Go to animate, from animate select, opacity, set opacity to, 0%. Now in range select a 1. At start of the timer line, create keyframe for offset, now go at 2 seconds. Change offset to, 100%. You can see the preview. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now for animator 1, from add, select property, position. Let's set Y position to, 40. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now for text layer, press P to bring up position. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timer line, change the X position as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now for second text layer, make sure you have not selected any text layer. Now select rectangle tool. Make sure fill is set to solid color. Now create shape hiding the text layer as shown. Perfect. Place it above the second text layer. For second text layer, change track mat to 
Alpha Matte Shape Layer 2, perfect. Now for Text Layer, press P to bring up position, at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start, change X position value as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's animate the shape layer 1, make sure anchor point is positioned to the center left. For shape layer 1, press S to bring up scale. Unlink the scale. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for scale. Now at start of the timeline. Change scale for X to 0%. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this shape layer, let's place shape layer above the text layer. Now for the text layer, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 3. You can see the preview. For text layer, press P to bring up position, now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start, change X position value as shown. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. You can see the complete preview. Perfect. Now select all the layers. Pre-compose them, I will name them as Title 19. For this composition, let's enable time remapping, go to time, select enable time remapping. Now at center of this composition, create keyframe for time remap. Now at end of the timeline, change remap value to 0. You can see the preview. Perfect. You can scale this composition and also place it wherever you want. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.